Hi, I'm Jungle Jim Hunter and I want to talk to you about the third aspect of time on task. In the first one I talked about the fact that somebody said we need to put in 10,000 hours. Well, I got news for you. That will never work because if you're not totally working it back from where you have to go to where you are, you will never be on task. And you have to give up good things. But what's the third thing you have to do? You have to lock it in. When I told my dad I was going to be an Olympic skier, he made it very clear to me that I only had 15,000 hours. 15,000 hours to make it to the Olympics in seven years. You say, hold it a second, I can do the math. There's a lot more time in there in six years than 15,000 hours. Well, here's what you forget. You sleep a third of the time and you have to live life the other third of the time. And then you have eight hours every day to do what you want, but you use up two hours just eating, just washing, just bathing, just brushing your teeth. Ends up you only have six hours. And by the time you do the math, you got 15,000 hours to be the best in the world. And you're going to have setbacks. You're going to have injuries. You're going to have somebody say, not today. The lifts are closed. So what makes a difference? You have to lock it in. You got to lock it in so intensely that every time you do something, every second of the day, you are moving towards the destination of where you're going. Lock it in. What is it? It's what you do in the task in the time that you have that makes you the best. That's what it means to lock it in. Are you locked in? Are you totally committed? Or are you just going through the motions?